Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. So Notion just released Formulas 2.0 and so today we wanted to take time to show our first look into what is the changes in Formulas 2.0 and what this means for us Notion users. Let's first start out by going to Notion's own guide about Formulas 2.0. So Notion outlines three main things that they say that is different in Formulas 2.0. They said that writing and editing formulas is easier. Formulas can be written multi-line in the editor with tabs and comments too, and errors are more actionable. So this was a huge problem in the old formulas because you couldn't write very long formulas because of the way that the lines worked. So you couldn't really have multiple lines. Now you can have multiple lines and it's just easier to see. So let's go to a sample Notion page to check this out. So here, when we click edit property and edit the formula, you can already see that there's way more space here. So you can actually just type a lot of text. This makes it way easier. On top of that, they have all of these options where you can just copy some possible formulas. So it's a bit easier in that sense. So if we go back to the guide, next it says that formulas now support rich data outputs. So previously formulas only supported text, numeric and checkbox outputs. Now you can actually display pages, dates, people and lists. So this is very clear when you go to your formulas and you click edit that now you can actually click, for example, created by and then get their name and email without having to create a property for it. So this is quite useful. You can also get dates. So for example, here you can see some options for dates and this is very useful as well. So if we go back to this guide, it also says you can access more information directly. So formulas are now smarter, so they can reach into properties of related databases, as well as access information like members, emails, and names. So this is basically what we covered. So what does this mean for us? So one thing that stood out to us is that we probably need to go through our pages and templates to make sure whether or not these new formulas could actually benefit us so that we're not using loopholes to achieve what we were going for. It also said that, for example, if you had a prop called person and you had a list that returned text before, they're going to keep that list with text, but it's actually not possible to get a list of person pages. So that's something to be checked. Next thing it says, call workspace level information from properties. So names and emails. So we covered this already. And then it says, create your own variables with LED. Oh, this is actually a very exciting feature. So before, when you were making formulas, you often had to type the same thing over and over again, especially if you had a data that you were using that was quite complex. So in this example, it says, let sales tax prop subtotal times 0.099 prop subtotal plus sales tax. So they basically can put this whole thing, which they reference here as a variable for sales tax so that when they do this formula, they can just reference this here. So this saves a lot of time. So let's take a look in our notion. So if you click edit and we press let, and go here, we can see some examples. So here it also says let name dog Engelbart. So then the name is dog Engelbart and then hello plus name plus exclamation point and then it would return this. So this is definitely useful if you want to avoid really lengthy formulas. If we go back, it says reference properties in related databases without rollups. So this is another feature that's quite interesting. So if you go back to the Notion page, we actually created another database that's related to this habit tracker entry table. And let's say that we have two related pages here. Run 30 minutes a day and 
uh, meditate five minutes. So we have two pages coming from the database habits, which is outside of this database. So they are related databases. So now when you go to formulas, you can actually pull up its properties without using rollups, which is how you would do it before. So you can go to formula and edit property and edit. And let's say we are going to reference habit, this uh, related property. And then if we press a dot and current, uh, map, actually map, and then current, you can see a list of the current pages that you have re referenced here. And then you can even do current dot tag. So you'll see a list of its tags. Let's see here. So the tags were about what this habit relates to. So this was a health habit and this was a mental health habit. So it made the list health and mental. So this is very useful that you don't need to do rollups anymore and that it references exactly what you put here. So obviously we still need to check all the changes step by step and see what kind of things have changed. But we're super excited for this change and we think that it's going to open up a lot more possibilities with Notion, template creation and just daily use. So let us know what you think about this. Are you excited for Formulas 2.0? Are you already using the new functions? And we hope to see you in the next one.